I review a lot of stuff on this channel, but this one, this one you gotta see. Arcade 2400 games. You can go in, each game has their own settings. You can hit select on your controller, select a random game. Oh, great random game. Street Fighter 2, baby. I just have to tell you how crazy this build is. Um, it's crazy. It, it, it has it all. Tell, I want somebody to tell me in the comments what this doesn't have. Come on, I dare you. Tell me what this doesn't have. Tell me what's wrong with it. There's nothing. It, it, this, is, this is detail at its finest right here. And as you see me scrolling in the bottom right corner here, you can see all the games. There's almost every single game. 99% of all the games for all these systems. And if you're wondering, where's GameCube? Where's Dreamcast? Where's PlayStation 1, 2, 3? Where's PSP? Where's PS3? All that stuff can be downloaded separately. The complete collections. All the games. Okay? Sure, there might be some... You know, oh, this was only released in Brazil, blah, 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 blah. Some, you know, really, you know, or some really small game that wasn't released to the mainstream. Okay. All right, dude. Yes, maybe that. But this has it all from, this is gaming history right here. Everything. The Atari's, the Nintendo's, the Sega's, the Sony, the Apple, the Commodore's, you name it. Uh, everything from the arcade going to the arcades, to at-home gaming, to commercial gaming, it's all. So I'm just kind of going through the systems here. You can go, you can click into any system. You can see the video snaps of that system. Um, you can jump around systems. If you just wait, it'll show you the system and give you information about that system very thorough in that regard. All right, let's check out the collections again, and then how did you set this whole thing up and play some games? 45,000 games, over 100 systems. This thing is ridiculous. I'm just gonna go backwards here. It has all the games, from Wolfenstein 3D, E.T., Super Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat, you name it, all the stuff. If you want to add every single PlayStation 1 game, every single PlayStation 2 game, every single Naomi game, Wii, Wii U, it has it available to you. I don't really have them installed on here, but they're just massive, massive packs. But look at all the Nintendo's that come with it. All, every single game, all the games, including hack games. Um, amazing. Even Nintendo HD and 3D games as well. You can get everything. And um, this is one of the most comprehensive builds I've ever seen. So just doing a quick run through on just all the different systems you're going to get here. We're only on Commodore. These are ridiculous. CPS, our massive arcade set. I added a Thomas Wave. All the Atari systems, including... Um, Jaguar, and then uh, Retro Bat. You have every single emulator. Everything from Citra for Nintendo 3DS, you know, Dolphin, um, PlayStation emulators. You have Pinball FX. There, there's Pinball add-on packs for this. There's PlayStation 1, 2, and 3 add-on packs, PSP, Dreamcast, Naomi, Wii, Techno Parrot, you name it. It's got it all. Xbox, Xbox 360. Wild. It's all here. Um, also, just kind of playing around with it, you um, it does come with background music. You can add additional themes. You can play around with it. It comes with some themes pre-installed. You can then go download some additional themes. I like this theme because if you just hold down, a, if you just don't do anything, it tells you about the system there. Really cool. Um, if you do want to play a game like an Apple II, you can hit select and jump to a random game. You can hit select and do advanced options and change things about the game or the emulator. It's really, this retro bat build is just really easy to use, super comprehensive, pretty user friendly, I'd say, and uh, it just works. So let's try out uh, Tempest. All right, so here you are. We have Atari Jaguar. 
Um, I'm playing, you know, as far as specs, Retro Bat does not need very large specs at all. So if you want to put this in an arcade cabinet or something like that, you could totally run it on like an old recycled uh, HP or Dell computer. Um, you definitely want a dedicated graphics card, though. When you start getting up to like Wii, Wii U, etc., you'll definitely get a lot uh, less lag. Or if you want to do PlayStation 3, but like arcade and all the 8-bit, 16, 32-bit systems, they run just fine without a graphics card on any, you know, $200 computer or so. It's going to run just fine. Um, here we are. We have arcade, Street Fighter working good, and then I want to play 1941 for arcade as well. You know, everything works right out the box. It's really nice. Um, what do I want to talk about with this build? Well, uh, first off, the way I made this video, you know, I obviously just want to showcase the build. This is the updated version. I've done videos on this build before. This is the updated version now, and it's just incredible. You know, he really went deep as far as pulling out some systems that I rarely see on builds like this. So that's why I was so impressed, just the amount of detail done to all this. And like I said, a lot of people, I do these 12 terabyte hard drive videos where people don't want to spend the money. Like, just go build it yourself. Well, this is somebody who's literally built it from the ground up and done everything. Now, Virtual Man and some other people have done this in the past, but a lot of those builds are hard to get to and or they're not really updating anymore. So to have somebody who's active in the community and just made this an incredible image is, is a feat in itself. And so that's why I'm highlighting this video and I can strongly recommend this as a build that I would send a lot of people to. Uh, but you know, whatever it is, whether you're starting out, this thing has all the emulators pre-built into it. And like I said, it's build your own. So you can build, buy packs, or not buy packs, but go get packs and put, you know, whatever systems you want on here and get it exactly the way you want it. Um, it's fairly easy to do, and like I said, Retrobat doesn't require a lot of processing power, and it, it's just, it's pretty, out of all the front ends out there, it's definitely in my top three. So, it's this thing is just good all the way around. So all you need is an Xbox 360 controller and, you know, a decent, you know, computer, not even anything crazy, and this thing is gonna run really great. Uh, once you build it once, you know, you can copy it over, you can share it, you can put it on an external hard drive and bring it to other people's houses, whatever else, you know. Um, you can play multiplayer games. You should still have all the retro achievements and all the other, you know, save your state. Um, all that stuff is still going to work just fine on here. It has all the emulators you're going to want on here. Everything from Duck Station for some really cool PlayStation gameplay to it has the Nintendo Switch emulator. You name it, it's got it on here. And, I, you know, like I said, with all these obscure systems and things, you know, I can see maybe that's a complaint to some people might have is like, they're like, I don't play any of those systems from the 70s and the 80s. Like, I'm just a 90s and newer gamer. You can easily delete those. Just go in and go to the ROMs folder and delete them. They're not taking up much space. Or leave them in there, click start on your controller, and just hide them, right? You can go to game collection settings. You can uncheck certain collections that you don't want to be shown on that main menu there and you can clean it up. So that's why I say, I think there's like, you'd have a, I, you for someone who complains about this, like, you know, I don't know why you would complain. It's one of the best all around, full body, like as far as, this is a massive collection and with all the packs and everything, you'd have a hard time giving this a run for its money. So, you know, obviously I'm really digging it. It's a really great option. RGS uh, just did fabulous work here. I'm really impressed. So for the rest of the video, um, you know, I'll show you how to get the original image, which you could just run that and or if you want to update it to what I'm running here and then as well as get new packs as well. All of it is coming up next. So this is the 300 gigabyte V6 base image. And then we're also doing the update one on this. And that already includes a ton of games and things. But for example, a lot of people are like, I want every PlayStation game ever, I, you know, whatever the, the, you know, every Nintendo Wii U. So look at this. He's got a Wii U catalog, which is a complete terabyte. He's got a Wii, uh, the full Wii collection, two terabytes worth of games. PlayStation 3, 1.4 terabytes. Um, PlayStation 2, almost three terabytes of PlayStation 2 games. So those of you who want those big 12 terabyte builds, you can absolutely do the retro game savior build and then just add on those add-on packs and you'll be rocking and rolling in some pretty massive collections here. So that's what's cool about it. It's kind of build your own every single game ever. On top of all that, you can absolutely like click on a download and then only download specific games, right? You could just, as you see the torrent, 
you could pick and choose which torrent, which games within that torrent you want. So like I said, you'll download the torrent, you'll unrar it, and then here I have it. I have it on an external hard drive. If you just load it as is, it comes with 38,000 games just with the base image already. Wow. So that's without the update. We want to update. The other thing I forgot to mention is you do have to run these two these two install files first, the visual plus plus. They're in the install first file. Um, and then there's some readme here you might want to check out. Um, but um, you know, you can run the version six, but now we want to upgrade to the version six update one. And so the first thing we want to do is update retro bat. So I found the easiest way to do this is just search retro bat on your search engine and go to the retro bat website and then download version 6.3 and then install it like this. We downloaded the retro bat V 3.0 stable. You want to go ahead and, and run it, <clears throat> say English next. And then you just want to put it in the same directory so it just overwrites everything. So I should, we could just go ahead and double check really quick. We should be able to go into here and check that we are running the latest version. Just hit start on your controller. See here on the bottom it says Retrobat version 3, 6.3.0. So we're updated. Let's go ahead and quit. <clears throat> and then the next step, we draw in ROMs Commodore 64, Final Burn Nero, and SFC. So let's go into ROMs, uh, FSC, so F, Final Burn Neo. Let's go ahead and delete that. All right, so these three need to be deleted. I'm assuming he's going to give you those back in the next build. So those have about 30 seconds left. While those have about 30 seconds left, I'm going to go ahead and go to my new build. This is... Um, the version one, I had, I unrarred it, and this is what you're giving back. So I'm going to copy this, ex paste all these files in here. It's going to take a while. Um, you could just extract them into here as well from the RINRAR. I unrarred them first, and then I'm just going to copy them over. Because um, I'm doing this all on an external hard drive, because it's a lot of space. So I'm just putting it all on an external drive right now. If it asks you to overwrite, say yes. Update service, there it is. Okay, let's run it. All right, so I ran update services in the RetroBat file in RetroBat, and then now I downloaded the um, NES HD pack as well as the Atomus Wave pack. And remember, this is where you can download the PlayStation 1 pack, the Naomi pack, all the packs you want. You'll just extract them and put them in ROMs. There's a little ROMs folder in the main directory, and you can just expand on this and, and, and just turn this into a 12 terabyte gaming retro archives as much as your heart desires just drag and drop um open retro back quit and then reopen and you're good to go it's that easy and then now you're rocking and rolling on the newest version with all the games you want and it, it works good the one thing i found out with the nes hd is you it'll group them within nintendo so if you want to ungroup them hit start on your controller go to um, collection settings and then ungroup them we added a Thomas Wave. There it is. Boom. We got a Thomas Wave now. 